tend not bears live alone most of the time, except when they are with their mothers and cubs or when they are mating. Black bears are solitary animals that only get together for a short time to mate. They have big territories that they mark with their poop, scratches, and sprays of urine. Trackers and hunters use trees called bear trees to figure out where a black bear lives. They will scratch, bite, and rub the bark and branches of certain trees to scare away people. Bears may gather in places with a lot of food, like oak forests, berry patches, or farm fields. When there are lots of good food sources over a large area, bears tend to get along better than usual. This is because they can't protect such a good food source from other bears. Bears are not territorial, but they will defend a food source or mate if they are there. They don't patrol or protect a certain area from other bears coming in. Bears have their own space, but different animals often live in each other's space at different times. 11. Black bears don't usually stay in one place. Home range is the name for a bear's living area that has food, water, and enough cover. The size of a bear's home range can change from year to year or from one area to another, depending on how food and other resources are spread out. Male bears tend to have bigger territories, and their smaller home ranges often overlap with those of several female bears. When the cubs are less than a year old and not as mobile, the females with cubs will have smaller home ranges. Black bears usually move around and don't stay in the same place for long, unless there's a good reason for them to, like a food source they can count on. If they know they can get an easy meal there, they will go back. When it's time to hibernate, black bears don't always go back to the same place, and their dens aren't very big for how big they are. Also, bear dens are usually only a few degrees warmer than the ground, so the bear's fat and fur are its main defense against the cold. 12. Are black bears keen for social? Bears talk to each other by setting up a hierarchy or pecking order when they are in the same place at the same time. It's not always a bear's size that makes it dominant over another. The dominant bear, or alpha, is always in charge because of how it acts. Bears show who is boss by making their opponent feel afraid. Bears usually don't fight with each other unless they have to. Fighting could hurt someone, which is not what the bear wants. It's all about making a show. Even though bears are big and strong, a wild Minnesota black bear is usually shy and afraid of people, even if it weighs twice or three times as much as the average person. If you see a black bear face to face, it's normal to feel a little scared. But the truth is that black bears don't usually attack people. Rarely do black bears actually attack people. But you should still stay away from a black bear if you don't plan to get close to it.